Okay, year ones, welcome back to another session this week for our maths. And now we're going to carry on with our chapter seven. And we started uh, on the last day of our half term looking into some subtraction within 20. Okay, so we are going to carry on with lesson five today. And we're going to carry on with our subtraction. So get your resources ready and your learning partner. And when you are ready, so is Mrs. Sweeney. Okay, year ones, today we are learning to subtract by subtracting only from the ones column. Now, what I mean by that is when we looked uh, previously into our addition, we used our tens and ones skills. Now, if you're not sure, we're going to look at that again. So I'm going to draw my tens frame. Okay. Excuse my very sad looking tens frames. I've got one, two, <laughs> four, and there we go. Hopefully that should make our ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to make up the number sixteen. Okay, so I am using a different colour. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I've got one whole tens frame that I have used, and then I should have six ones left over outside. Okay, sorry, my board was being a bit silly there. So I've got six ones there. Each dot is a one. So I've got one ten and six ones left over outside. So I've got one tens frame that I've used. And I've got six ones left over outside. And today we are only going to subtract by looking at the ones column. Okay, all of those ones. Now, hopefully that would make sense. So let's have a look at our in focus task. Okay, just by looking at the picture, we are going to say that there are four flowers that wither and die. Okay, how many flowers do you? no are left okay so i would like you to have a go at working this out with your learning partner now there was a person who is a really good mathematician and is also a good friend of mine and they said that if we split the 16 so remember we talked about partitioning yesterday so that is what we're doing we're partitioning our 16 it would be helpful what do you think it means? And are we just partitioned our 16 in our next slide where we used our 10s and 6s? So have a go at doing that and tell me how many flowers you think are left. So you might want to use a 10s frame today. You might want to use some resources to help you count whether they're socks, spoons, pasta, buttons. I don't mind what you use, but use them to help support your counting and you're taking away. Okay, when you have done that, we are going to move on. Okay, so we are going to do some of our learning together. So we have 16 flowers all together. So our focus number sentence is 16 take away four because the problem we had was that four flowers withered and died. Now, initially, one of my friends said that we could partition our six and the easiest way of doing that is here, where we partition it into 10 and 6, just like we did using our tens frame to show what our tens and ones are. Okay, so here I'm going to show it to you in the picture. I've got made a group of my 10, they're all in there, and then I've got six ones left over on the outside. However, we have got four flowers that go away. So instead of crossing out four flowers from our tens frame, you are going to cross out four from the ones that are left outside. So all you're using is your six ones and you're subtracting the four from it. Remember in subtraction, we start with the bigger number. So your number sentence would be six take away four, which you are doing here. So you had your six outside, and you've crossed out your four. And that leaves you with the answer two. Now that two, you are adding on to the 10 that is left over, okay? 
and then your answer will be 12 because you know that 10 add 2 equals 12. So there are 12 flowers left over. Okay, so if you're not sure, please listen to this slide once more. You are subtracting by using the ones. So your initial number sentence was 16, take away 4. You've split your 16 into 10 and 6, and there's your picture here to help you see that you've got 10 in the box. We've grouped them together, and you've got 6 left over. Now you're taking away the 4 from the 6, okay, just as you are here. You cross off your 4, and you're left with 2 flowers, and you're adding the 2 flowers to the 10, okay? And that gives you 12 and you have your answer. There are 12 flowers left. Okay. Oh, sorry, my slides jumped there. Now for your journaling, what I would like you to do is look at today's sheet. Okay. Your first part is to split your 10 and your 6. So make your 16, partition it. And then your second step is to think show it in your number one diagrams you've got 10 and how many left over so you'll split up the 10 into uh, 10 and something which we just looked at then subtract the something from the six so taking away the answer from six and then the answer you're left with is you're adding it on to your 10 okay so when you've done that uh, you are finished with your journaling for today. So there are so many flowers left. Okay, well done everybody. And that's your journaling done. Now to extend some of your practice, for your guided practicing, what I would like to do is give you a new number sentence. Could you in your guided practice show me 15 take away 2 and I'm going to leave this image here so get your number bonds out get your tens frame out get your pretend tomatoes and you're going to show me how you are going to do that work okay when you're finished we are done for our guided practice I've got some more here uh, for your the second set of guided practice so get get going so you're subtracting 17 take away 5 and then your second bit is you're doing 17 take away 7 and this time again you're partitioning into 10 and 7 okay so have a go at practicing the teddy bear problem when you have finished that you have got your independent learning for today's worksheet okay now in today's worksheet you've got a sheet here subtracting by subtracting 1 so 13 take away 2 Okay, so have a go at doing that and then you've got another sheet where you are partitioning your bigger number and you're using the ones to help you, okay, just like we did in our guided practice. Okay, there's another final sheet there. Remember to use your tens frames to help you partition and then take away the ones, all right? Once you're done with that, we are finished for today. If you have any questions, please type up a message um, and we will be there to support you with your um, maths today. Okay, hopefully you find that it is tickety-boo, but if you haven't, drop me a message, drop Miss Hocking a message and we are more than happy to support you. Take care, year ones. Bye.